Have you ever wanted your website to automatically adapt to light and dark themes like professional projects do? Today, I'm going to show you how to create this functionality using Tailwind CSS. It's simple, and you'll be able to add theme toggling in just a few steps. Let's get started. So I already have a component that toggles the themes. It's a simple component, and you can easily adapt it to fit your design. For now, we can toggle the themes, but nothing happens. You can see this in the console. In addition, I've created a small example of a page that supports dark mode. For this, Tailwind CSS uses the dark selector before the class. But before we dive into the code for theme toggling, let's first understand how it works and try switching themes manually. When we check the Tailwind CSS documentation on how to use dark mode, we can see the following. By default, Tailwind CSS uses the operating system settings for theme switching. But in our case, I want to enable manual theme toggling instead of relying on system preferences. To do this, we need to change the strategy from media-based to selector-based. We'll go to the tailwind.config.js file and set dark mode colon class. Now, if we add the dark class to the tag, we'll see that all the styles defined for the dark theme are correctly applied. The next step is to automate this process. Let's create a new file and add the ready to use code. I'll create a folder called hooks in app. Now, let me explain how this works. Initializing the state, the theme variable stores the current theme, light, dark, or system. Method get item checks if a theme is stored in local storage. If it exists, it's used. Otherwise, the default value is system. Element references. Element is the root HTML element where we add CSS classes for theme switching. Dark query checks whether the user has dark mode enabled in the system settings. This function checks if the dark theme is stored in local storage or if the system theme is dark. If either of these conditions is true, the dark class is added to the root element of the page. If not, the class is removed and the light theme is applied. Use effect for initial theme setup. This hook runs once when the component is mounted and applies the theme based on the on window match logic, updating the theme when the state changes. When the theme state changes, here's what happens. If the dark theme is selected, the dark class is added and the theme is saved to local storage. If the light theme is selected, the dark class is removed and the light theme is saved. If the system theme is selected, the save theme is removed and the system logic is applied again. This use effect tracks changes in the system theme. If the user switches the system theme from dark to light or vice versa, the function updates the dark class accordingly. An event listener is used here, which gets removed when the component is unmounted. The hook returns the current theme and a function to change it, so you can use this hook in other components. Now let's import the use theme hook into our theme toggle component and get two parameters, theme and set theme. Let's replace the local state with the imported one. All done. Let's check how it works. If no theme is set, the theme is taken from the operating system's settings. Otherwise, the theme saved in local storage is used. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about dark mode, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll also add the link to the code in the description. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.